Hey, hi guys. I'm Jitendra Vasani, and I'm sitting with the CEO of Affiliate Summit. Like that, so that's like a dream come true. Like Sean, we did an interview long time back, right? Yeah, it was like, wonderful. It was great chatting with you. Yes, and he's fan of Gary Vee, right? Yeah, yeah, I've known him since he spoke here in 2009. Right. I knew him before that. So, how did you got Gary Vee on the board? Like, if I can ask you one this um, straight question. So when, when I first met him, I, I actually lived about a mile from where his parents' liquor store was. Right. So I used to actually go there to buy beer and things. Right. And back when it was a small place before it got really big. Right. But I, um, I was seeing him at different conferences, and he right. actually was on a couple of panels here before he became a keynote. Right. So like in 2007 or so, he was on just a discussion panel with like five other people. Right. And then the people loved him, so we wanted to have him as a keynote. Right, and Affiliate Summit have a lot of shows. Like uh, yesterday, I heard like it was six, uh, like around forty nine shows you have done. Yeah, this is, this is number 50. fifty. It is number fifty. Like, yes. oh my God, it gets a long journey. Yeah, so we started in two thousand three. Right. And some years, like currently, we have four big shows. Right. In Las Vegas, New York, Singapore, and Amsterdam, and some okay. years we've had some additional shows. So, it, so okay. across all these seventeen years now. I think Las Vegas is one of the biggest. Like a lot of people are, are there. Like it's the biggest show. Las yes, Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Las Vegas has always been our biggest, and right. it's um, six thousand something people here. Okay. And then New York is the second biggest. And is the second biggest, right? Yeah. So, so Sean, you have been into affiliate marketing from long, like around two decades, right? Yeah, I started in 1997. Oh, so, it's like a long, long journey. So, right? Yeah, it was back when when Amazon was pretty new for affiliate marketing. Right. And I, I just, I came across their affiliate program somehow, and I. Right. I was on America Online back then, and so I didn't know how to program or anything. I just okay. had a very primitive first affiliate site, but right. then I, I took some tutorials and learned how to write in HTML and, right. and write some JavaScript and Cold Fusion and things back then, and, okay. and just just kept getting more and more into it. And so you, when you did your like first niche site, so it was you got traffic from SEO or what? Like yeah, so it was basically just from. Completely from SEO, I didn't have okay. much money to invest in PPC. Right. So it was just I would just churn out content, and it was just uh, and I enjoy writing. So the right. And since it was I was writing in my voice, it was naturally right. very keyword rich. Right. So how did you got the idea about SEO and make money online? Like what was you searching on Google? Like. Um, so I don't think make money online was even a, a phrase people were searching back yes, then. Yes, at that time, right. So um, so I. The time that I really learned SEO was in 2000. I was working for a company called Internet.com, right? And Danny Sullivan, who started Search Engine Strategies, he was right. working there. They acquired him, right? So he sent a, like a 12-part series of, about SEO to the entire right. company, right? And I just devoured it. This is before Google was right. even really big, back when like Yahoo people would pay for inclusion, right? And um, and so I just I learned about all the different search engines and all the right. techniques from him, and he was the master back then. Wow. So, so I was, it was lucky timing that he happened to be in the same company as me back in '99, I guess it was. Wow. So, how long this affiliate summit is running? Like, from which year? Um, 2003 was our first one. With with Missy Ward, right? Yeah, Missy Ward. She's my partner, and so. Okay. And so we just we met at a different conference and just became friends and. Wow. That's and a... yeah, neither one of us had we we didn't have money or any knowledge of events. Right. But we just thought let's let's do it. So how did you build that kind of trust with her? Like, it's very hard to find. Like, Sean, in this industry, like, it's very hard to build trust with people. Like, in terms of business, now Affiliate Summit, it's is that like next level. So yeah. How did you build trust? It was partially luck because we were right. basically strangers to each other. We would, we would see each other at conferences and hang out, but like, right. I didn't really know who she was for real. Right. So um, we became the best of friends since then. But right. But initially, we were somewhat strangers, and we got lucky that that we just happened to our talents and our Ambitions all just gel together. Right, that's very important. Like you have that kind of common connection to build something. Yeah, and it was it was funny because we we both just sort of split duties on what to do. Right. And we couldn't describe what the other person was doing. Just everything happened to get done. Okay. We just sort of found positions for ourselves and and just took care of everything. Wow. And what kind of affiliate marketing offers you are running right now? If I can ask you, like, are you still doing affiliate marketing or you're focused on Affiliate Summit right now? Yeah, Affiliate Summit's been such a big focus for years, right. so I, I still have a handful of affiliate sites, but they're just right. more for fun and to keep in practice with it. And what kind of niches, if I can ask you, just niches, like what kind of niches do you do you work right now? So um, right now, one of them, it's, a, it's more of a hobby. It's not really a big audience, but it's okay. for, for this soccer team or a football team here at Austin FC. Okay, soccer team, right. I have a fan site for them where I have pictures and interviews and things, and so I sell products from Amazon and, and fanatics.com, different places, okay. different like soccer balls or jerseys or hats and things. Okay. And so that's not really a high-yield thing, but it's, it's more of a passion project for me that I happen to have affiliate marketing attached right. to. Right. But, so, um, do you have a team right now for doing your for handling your blogs and all this kind of niche website? That's just me. I oh really? I, I've never really been comfortable outsourcing writing. 
Okay. And so they're all in WordPress, so they're pretty easy to just handle the website, right? Yeah, but I um, yeah, I've got a, a handful of them. I have one that's been around since right. I guess um, 2002 or 2003. Right. Affiliatetip.com. Right. So I I put out content on there that's affiliate marketing related. Right. And then I just have a handful of other ones that are tied to travel and and health and different things. Okay. If I can ask you, like, how much money do you make in in figures, like rough figures, in every year from affiliate commissions? If I can ask you this. Question. Um, I just I don't share any of my financials. Like six, six, seven. If I can ask you, like. It's well, right now. It's just I for a long time it was right. it was paying all my bills. Now it's more of a hobby, so it's okay. So they're not dazzling numbers right now, but because the most of the income is coming from affiliates. I mean, like it's it's grown so big. Like you have a lot of like super affiliates here who are coming up and making a lot of good good connections and money. Yeah. So and so I so running the event really takes the the most time and for, right. I know for the first years of the first five years, I was also running affiliate programs as an as a affiliate manager. Right. For a bunch of clients, so I was. Doing that plus getting this off the ground and right. doing some other consulting and had a bunch of affiliate sites, but but then I had to start dropping projects to focus on this and grow this. Okay, and Affiliate Summit is also having his own affiliate program at Shadowcell, right? Yes, yeah, we've had a, an affiliate program from the start, which right. would be sort of automatically sort of have to have a, okay, an affiliate okay. program. And what do you think, like Sean? What new trends you are seeing in affiliate marketing in 2020 right now? Like. I guess there are some things that I, right. I haven't really grasped myself, like TikTok. I'm not sure okay, TikTok, yes. how to monetize it. I haven't really played with it much. My children use it. It's pure for ads. Like if you want to do some kind of sponsor ads, so now they're allowing you to do all these kind of sponsor ads. Yeah. yeah, I see that. And I see a lot of people that are working on Instagram and Snapchat right. and things. But I, I've, really, I've kept my focus just on the basics with just churning out content and using email to promote it and social media. So I haven't so, really been at the forefront with... Like I haven't used, I, I know a lot about them, but I haven't used Paper Call or TikTok to as affiliate marketing. Okay, so your affiliate site still have traffic from Google, right? SEO, right? Yes, and a lot of these sites are, they're such legacy sites, haven't been indexed since like over 15 years ago. So, wow. So they just everything I post to them just automatically gets indexed nicely. Okay, so now you have seen like Google is making a lot of changes in their algorithms, like in terms of like feature snippet, like they're having a, a URL of the site on the top of the Google. So. What do you think? Like, what kind? Like, what we can ex expect from Google right now in terms of changes in, in SEO right now? Um, so with that, I I use the plugin from Yoast, and I just Yoast, uh -huh. I really just I give them all the credit for doing all the research, and I just right. I use their prompts to to optimize my pages. Right. So so that way I don't have to do all that research myself and stay on top of the the trends. So does your niche website have feature snippet like a position zero right now? Yeah, I do it for some of the sites. I okay. some of them I I just write on maybe once a week, so and I don't put that much time into it. And they have a they're very niche, so they're not okay. getting big traffic, but they're getting indexed well. So, so okay. I, I don't really get carried away with all of them to. So to that. who like what is your favorite affiliate uh, like platform? Like is it ShareASale, Avon? Like it's really tough because I've used ShareASale and and CJ, CJ and, yes. and LinkShare, and they things change names over time. Right. But I've used all these in Awen for so many years. Okay. And so I, I just look at them more as a utility where I, I go to the advertisers I want right. in there across all the different platforms. Okay. So I don't really have a, a favorite network. I just have because okay. I just use them all and they all them, yes. and they all do the job for me. Okay. Then how do you make a relationship with those advertisers? Like, hey, I will run this offers and you have to pay me this much amount of money on every sale. Like, how how do you build these kind of relationships? The biggest way has always been offline. So, offline, so obviously okay. at Affiliate Summit because right. they're all coming here, and, and right. also for the network events for right. ShareASale right. and Rakuten and all those. And so I would go to their events and you, to right. meet with the advertisers in person, and then right. make a pitch why I think I should get a higher commission. Okay. So and you email them and you make a good pitch with them and you try to get a deal with well, them. I'll just set up a meeting in person at right. those events because I've always found that I, it's way more constructive to have the face-to-face -face interaction than to try to ask by email. Okay. Unless they already know that the site's doing well, but. But if okay. you can go there and explain your, your vision, then, okay. then a lot of times they'll have faith in you and right. give you a higher rate. True. So do you also work in high ticket offers? Um, not currently. I had, in the past, I've done some things with hosting and, hosting, and right. software and different things. Have you ever got any four-figure sale like from affiliate commission? Like, are you have this kind of sales also? Um, yeah, I've never really had any that were that big. Like, I guess right. like hosting would be... Like $200, $100. Like, yeah, something yeah. like 100 here and there. For, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and, but um, yeah, never. I've never done anything that has such such a high value that would be a, th a four figure for okay. a single transaction. Yes, because ShareASale, I think they don't have it like high ticket offers, but but some private net networks they do have these kind of high ticket offers. Yeah. Right. So have you ever worked with high ticket offers? No. Like. Yeah, I've really focused solely on just the Most traditional okay. affiliate marketing, like just e-commerce and. 
Okay. I haven't really done much in the way of leads except for maybe hosting. Okay, so if you want to rank for like hosting review keywords and the discount coupon keywords, right? Like you want to rank your niche website. So what will be your strategy to rank for this kind of like highly competitive keywords? So I'd go more for the long tail and I would just write okay, long tail. Okay. a lot of tutorials that are just in very human language about how right. to go through different processes and get things done on the hosting. Okay. Okay. And so, and people tend to gravitate towards that. And I've been meaning for the longest time to, to make video tutorials because a lot of the bigger hosting affiliates are doing videos right. to, to drive traffic. Just since it, like for me, yeah, I, I've yeah. set up domains so many times on WP Engine and different hosts. Okay, WP Engine, yeah. But, um, but for people to go there for the first time, it's a little bit overwhelming. Right. And even the same thing, I went through the process of going through GoDaddy to get a right. domain. Right. And I'm so used to it from so many years. But, same here. Yeah. But I took screenshots to make a tutorial, and it is a pretty convoluted, complicated process like for a first timer. Yes. And there's so many upsells, and it's just a, it's a lot to handle. Of course, I know. So, what is your favorite hosting like? Um, I favor WP Engine. I, that's really okay. where all my sites are right now. Okay, and I, and I, I like what they've just been very reliable for uptime, and I'm I'm happy with their pricing. Yeah, because uptime is very important. Because a lot of the sites, because when I started this journey, like some of my sites were going down, like like host servers were very poor, and I was attracted to like cheap hostings. Yeah, and I had, I made a big mistake with cheap hosting many years yes, ago. Same here. I had a a forum for affiliate managers called affiliatemanager.net. Okay. And it was on like a five dollar month hosting. Right. And it was. It had probably seven years of archives. Okay. And then one day, being on this cheap hosting, it got hacked by somebody and they deleted yes. everything. Okay. And, and for this host, they, they would do an update every 24 hours, and I didn't realize it until after 24 hours passed. So they didn't update in the, or a backup of the Yeah, backup the is hack. very important, yes. They did a backup of the hack version, so I lost oh. everything all those years. Really? Shit. And so I learned my lesson then and never to use cheap hosting. And yeah, same here. I made this mistake for, for my main blog, and my site was going down and I was losing my reputation online and pe people are like some of the guys were saying like you are into personal branding and your own website is going down yeah like I was losing a lot of trust here yeah and also there's a um, there's a service I used to use and I have it on some sites still called Pingdom oh Pingdom yes Pingdom, yeah and yes. so it's great to get an alert right away if your site goes down right which I never really get anymore with WP Engine but in the past I would I'd use some lower end cheaper ones and, and it would go down a lot like cheap one was was always like I had a lot of issues in that like yeah and it's very tempting especially for somebody that's new but it's you get what you pay for yes because when I was starting my journey like it was like expensive like I, I cannot afford like WP Engine kind of hostings because I have to go for cheap hosting in the beginning because I don't have that that kind of money in my hand yeah and I'd like, say for somebody new maybe yeah. go with cheap hosting but have a plug-in that automatically backups backs up everything constantly right right so you don't risk losing things because to have like even just months or, or years to lose right. all of that is devastating. Right. And what are the two tips like you want to give to the affiliate <clears throat> marketers who are just starting out right now, like newbies who really want to get into affiliate world? I think one of the biggest things is to be right. patient because people, because they right. see the, the phrase get rich quick so often. Oh uh, yes, and, rich and, quick is And for them, unless you're doing paid search, it's really difficult to do much quick at all. Right. It really takes a while to build an audience. And right. To, so, um, so patience is so key. It's key, right? To, to stick around because a lot of people, I don't think that people oftentimes right. fail because they, they kept working and it didn't work out. A lot of people right. just give up. That's why they fail. Right. And um, so the same thing I would say, a second thing, like a second P there, persistence. Just, oh, keep, persistence. just keep pushing and pushing. And the people that are the smartest or the most funded right. aren't going to necessarily make it. The people that stick around right. and they just believe in themselves and they keep going even when nobody else believes in them. Their family and friends might make fun of them and say negative things, but you have to just keep right. pushing forward. And, True that. And, yeah, and even now, like, I have so many friends, I've been doing it for over 20 years, and they still don't understand what I do. And, Same here, like, and, my family, they, they never understand my stuff, like, what yeah. I'm doing right now online. Yeah, they think I can just go there and just hit six buttons and get a big check. Yeah. Now, go tell me how to do this. And, like, here's a book I wrote. And they never want to read the book where it, it goes through they all will, the actual dirty details. They don't want to take actions. Yeah. So that's the problem. Yeah, we had um, a keynote speaker many years ago, Eric Thomas, Okay. He was an inspirational speaker, and he was, he was great, but he, um, he was saying how so many of his peers wanted to get where he was, but they didn't want to do all the work to get there. Right. They just wanted to magically arrive at the top of the mountain, okay. and they didn't want to do all that pain and the suffering and the, the loneliness of being up at four in the morning trying to fix a problem. Of course, right. They just want to have all the riches and the fun. Okay. And Sean, like, did you have any kind of bad experience in affiliate partnerships before? Like you have some partnership, like niche website with someone, and you had some bad experience there? Um, I haven't, but I've always been very careful. So right. I know a lot of people, they would take some high-risk offers, and like, sometimes they would never get paid. Right. But I, I've, 
pretty much always work with big brands. Right. So sometimes they might take 60 days to pay you, but you know they're going to pay you. They're a right. public company. Like they are so, trusted. Right. Yeah. So they um. So you're not going to. It's really a lot more. You have to do more volume because you're not going to get like the the huge sales oftentimes. Right. Right. So it's more of a grind, but but you know you're getting paid versus like somebody like I know so many people that have taken risks and spent a lot of money to do paid search and they got nothing right. back for it because the right. the person went out of business so they killed the offer they disappeared and right. so it's yes, so you're taking a lot of risk if you're going for those high return, high return. offers right and what are your favorite SEO tools um, for tracking backlinks and rankings I really just use Yoast the, the Yoast, paid okay. plugin for for video SEO and regular SEO and like SEMrush yeah, I've used that in the past. I don't really okay. do any other subscription services because okay. I was finding that they they had so much stuff, and I just I was paying and never using them. Oh. So I so I I've, I felt like it was wasted on me to spend that monthly fee. But for Yoast, I use everything they offer, so I really like that. So like you are like fan of Yoast, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been like, using it for a long time, and, and it works. It it works very good because for most of my sites are on Yoast. Like we are dependent on Yoast right now. Yeah, I'll make a new site and it. And it helps me to get everything all structured correctly and indexed pretty quick. That's pretty good. So, and for indexing, like, w what was your strategy to, to index your backlinks or your index your links on Google? Like, do you have some kind of strategy to, to get your links indexed? So I've always been very basic. I, I just just create it in WordPress and use right. Yoast and, and just follow the, the things they tell me to do. Right. And just start making content. Okay. And so I, I've never tried to chase keywords or, or okay. worried about no follow links and different things. I just, I just make my content and it gets indexed. Do follow, no follow links, because that will be like, so do you, do you think like do follow and no follow links do matters in terms of rankings? Like how many like, do follow links I, I should have? How many no follow should I have? Like, so I've never really let myself get obsessed about that because it seems okay. like it's a game you can never win there. Things are, right. Google's changing things constantly. And, right. And some yeah. people say something definitively that's not even correct because they say they had a source at Google and they didn't. Right, uh, yes. So it's, I just try to leave it to the, like I, I like to outsource things that I had, I don't okay. want to try to stay on top of, and, and search is just, it's so fluid. It's fluid, right, to that. And one last question, like, where is the next Affiliate Summit so, so my readers can join it? Like, so in, in June, there'll be one in Amsterdam, and then in July in New York City. Okay. And then following that, in October, they'll be back in, in uh, Singapore. Right, okay. And so, um, yeah, I've got a lot of them coming up all over the world, so. Okay, what kind of audience, like, hmm. my readers can expect here? Like, what kind of audience do you have here, right? So I guess for the, for the U.S.-based shows, right. They're very international. About seventy yeah. different countries, okay. like seventy different countries, are represented right. here. So, right. So, and really every niche. But then when you go, when we do the ones in Amsterdam or right. in Singapore, right. they're more focused on for the content, and the, the advertisers are focused on European right. and, yes. and Asian, respectively. Right. And so, the, um, so it depends if that's the audience you're trying to reach. Right. Then that can be a lot more beneficial. But here, it really covers every different market and every niche. Yeah. Very vertical. Because I'm here right now, like it's pretty big. Like that's my first time in US. I'm I'm super excited. Like I'm here at Vegas online and I'm attending Affiliate Summit. It's super big event. I, I really love your show, like Sean. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, very honest. Like yeah, and then one thing that I I see that makes me sort of I guess not upset, but just sad for some people. If they come here and they spend the money and they have access to thousands of people, but they're on their phone just messing around looking at Facebook or whatever. That's the thing. Like, you have to network. I'm here. I'm doing an interview. Why? Because yeah. I want to make some connections with you. Yeah, I see you hustling around. So you have seen my hustle. Things. Like, I'm giving my book. I'm giving. I'm trying to make some connections here. I'm yeah. not here for fun and drinking, having parties. No. I'm here for making some business. Yeah, and you can mix it. Like, last night, there was... Affiliate ball was oh, fun. It was very nice. And at the party still, I was making some good connection. I meet a guy like uh, who handled the partnerships at Fiverr. Yeah. And he saw my blog. He said, fuck, let's work on, on this thing. Yeah, and you never I, know who you're standing right next to. You can have like a I gold I took his mine. WhatsApp number and, and we are making business right now. Yeah, and, and my partnership with Missy is a perfect example. We met at a conference and it turned into this. We sold it so many years later. Uh, like that's the reason. Like people are busy on their phones. They have personal problems. I say keep your personal problems at your home. You are here and make some business and make some money. Don't like they have excuses like oh affiliate summit is was not good. I say you were not good. Yeah, you get like, out of what you put into it. And, yes. And I, I tell that to people. I, I have a, a first timer session when people come as an orientation. Yes. And so I tell people to just just go off the grid for three days and just meet all these people. Yes, I, just, was, I yeah, was there. Yes. Yeah, the rest of your year you can sit there at your computer or your phone. Relax. But, but yes. here you have people. So yeah. many valuable people here, people that can help you so much. Same here. So that's why I'm taking your like interview. I took interview with Avon team, like Sher Sher and CJ also. Like I'm doing it. I'm hustling a lot here. Yeah, and it's amazing because you just want to have access to all these people. Yes. After this. Yes. Like so sometimes if I want affiliate approval for any network, right? I can show like I did uh, like interview with, with Sean Collins and he knows me. 
Yeah. So which will like more trust and they will approve me instantly. Yeah, the, and the contents here are such great currency. Right. right. It's so valuable to take that back. Not just the learning and everything, but the but those contacts are huge. Like, yeah, so that's why I'm, I'm taking their contacts and making some good connections here. Like, yeah, that's, I already that's made profitable, like six figure deal. I'm going to make, make it from this conference. Yeah, like, it's amazing. I love to hear that. Like, that's so much profitable for me. Like, you have to be active here, you have to take actions. Nothing is going to work for you if you sit on your phones and blah, blah, blah. It's not going to work yeah, for you. Yeah, but too many people do that. And, and they expect some magic. And they will blame, like, Affiliate Summit was not good or uh, like this conference was not good. They will keep blaming, like, yeah, and there's, a problem. and there's a good business book by a guy named Keith Ferrazzi called Never Eat Alone. Yes. And so like for every breakfast, coffee, lunch, everything here, like always right. find a stranger and, and right. sh strike up a conversation. Like and, that's it. Yeah, maybe maybe the two of you don't have anything you can do together, but maybe you know somebody or they know somebody, you can meet some, you can mix like somebody else together. Make some connections, right? Yeah, and so and that's so valuable too, because if you're making connections, then right. then they want to help you. They they feel like they owe you a favor, and, <laughs> yes, and it just sort of goes around it. in circles. Right, so that's why we need to like be here, be active, have your cards ready, and, and try to make some network. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and thank you so much, Sean, for being on my show, like Inside Hustler's Brain. And thank you so much. And I really enjoyed this interview with, with you. Just to be very honest, I love Affiliate Summit, and it's totally profitable for me. Wonderful. Well, thank right. you. I appreciate it. And thank you so much, Sean. Thank you. Great. Thank thanks. you. Bye. Take care.